I ordered this Living Basic Single Serve Coffee Maker bring between ground coffee and capsules. So I can use both. I can use caps. I can use the ground coffee and I can use K cup. And this retailed for about $36. And this is Living Basic. So we will get started and we'll see what's inside. Stay we'll tuned. Talk about this one here. So I ordered Living Basic Single Serve Coffee Maker, two in one brewing between grounds, coffee, and capsule. So I got the unit in red. It's really convenient. This goes for about $36. Looks pretty nice in comparison to because I was in between getting a new coffee maker. So I ended up buying that one too. Eh, I thought I'd treat myself. And again, I was not sponsored by any of these companies. I saw them and I thought, oh, these would be cool to check out and their views were really great. This is how it comes in the package when you take it out of the box. It's really well packaged, it's protected really nicely, so there's no damage in transportation. All right, so let's take this out of the plastic and take a look at what is inside. What does this product offer us? What can we do with it? Let's check it out, see what the construction's like. Let's see how Living Basic lives up to their product. Unpacked it. This is called the Living Basic Single Serving coffee maker really nice they have all the instructions on the top of the actual coffee maker to each step to follow so it's pretty straightforward you shouldn't screw this up at all and it comes with a manual and it shows you information on how to take care of the unit or the coffee maker what should come with it with all these things that's great it does have this gauge in there too it has a gauge so you can gauge how much water you can have and it's got the little little piercers the k cup right many ones you can put in there it shows you all the different things you can do right so they come out it probably this one unlocks i'm guessing and then you can just put that in there by itself maybe i'm guessing i haven't used this before so i have a regular coffee maker i'm gonna have to play around with it um again the cover on the plug comes on there so that's great so it's covered it's an okay length of color i really liked that it was red i thought it was such a cool color i love red stuff i don't know why it reminds me of, like the old school coffee makers you know so it should just you gotta push down quite fairly so yeah it seems pretty good and you can put all the water inside there um if you want to run it through with vinegar that's what i usually do before i get i start using a coffee maker because you know you know plastic and chemicals and everything whatever has been made to create this coffee maker probably might not have been run through at the at the at the factory but who knows, right? But oh, it's got such a neat design on the side. Wow, that's so cool. And it's a cute unit. I mean, if you have a small apartment or maybe a small kitchen and you don't have a lot of room, maybe you wanna do this Living Basics coffee maker. But yeah, it's pretty cute. And then it has the little button on the side there. So that's great. And then information on where it's from, warning, that kind of thing. Wow, it looks pretty good. This was about $36, this coffee maker. But in the box, it shows you kind of feature, brew with single serve pack or ground coffee, 30 ounces of water container, could continue brewing three cups. That's great, wow. So that's pretty impressive. I saw the reviews, some people didn't like it and some people just loved it. And some people were like, oh, I own three of these. I love it that much. It's like, oh, okay. So anyways, I wanted to try it out. If it doesn't work, I could always return it, I guess, or sell it to someone else, I don't know. Uh, stay tuned, and I'm gonna try two different methods. I think I'm gonna do the coffee grounds and the K-Cups. Stay tuned, and we'll continue reviewing the Living Basics Coffee Maker. So yeah, looking forward to seeing the results with this. I love everything so far. The aesthetic of it is very nice. And the design or the, the imprint, the print for the design on the side is pretty nice. It's pretty neat. It's just a neat aesthetics overall. Well, I'm looking forward to sharing with you what my results and how I feel about it. try out this Kahlua original by Keurig. I've never done this before, it's my first time, so it'll be interesting. I have this size cup. 
Uh, but you can adjust it to whatever height you want for whatever cup you're using. And you just put it in like that, it's pretty cool. And then the little plate comes out and it just catches all the extra water or any coffee that comes from the actual cup or where it's dispensing out of, so you don't have too much of a mess. I'm not using that short of a cup, I'm using a pretty tall one. So this fits really nicely. All right, so you fill up your reservoir and there's two different um, holders, one for the ground and this one, and it's got the filter and everything. So you can pick between having regular coffee grounds or you can have your puree, so you can pick either one. And you just push it down, it should lock really nice. All your instructions are available on the top of the actual coffee maker. Open the lid, place the pod, add water, place the, place the cup, Wait 15 seconds, press the button, and away you go. And the button is on the bottom, or on the side here, on your right hand side. You just turn that on, and you can plug it in. Sure everything is working well. I did run the Living Basic Coffee Maker through with vinegar and water, and then rinsed it through, or ran it through again with just regular water. I'm getting excited how this is gonna work. I've never used um, a Keurig or K cup method before i'm so used to having regular c i grind up my own i usually use this type of coffee maker uh, this one i got from black and decker this one actually works really and it keeps it warm there's no heating plate there but um the actual decanter the coffee decanter actually keeps it quite warm um, this one you can just use for regular re regular method of coffee and you can program it in the way you want if you want to get up in the morning it's ready for you uh, so this is just heating up i'm just waiting for it to come out and we'll have a fresh cup of coffee so i'm gonna try out the kalua one i did buy a bunch of keurig different style blends here so different kinds of blends they have available they have all time flavor coffees so they have van hute hoot timothy's donut house and kalua so that's quite a neat variety pack. So that's 30 in that. So I'm interested in trying this out. So it seems pretty legit. Lots of good reviews. You can hear it percolating. It says be careful. You can probably burn yourself, right? Be careful. Hot surface, do not touch. Oh, I touched it. For a long period of time, I'm guessing if you touch it, but it's got a warm touch. It's not too hot yet. All right, so it's just percolating, waiting for that to come out. Do da dee, do da 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 da. Percolating, percolating, per 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 percolating, percolating. Let's read through the manual. My name is Manual. Here comes the copy. Percolating, percolating, here's the coffee now. Perk, 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 percolating. Perk, 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 percolating. So I went with this one today, went with a Kahlua original. Sounds pretty yummy, 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 yummy. There's a lot of people who reviewed it online. They said they're addicted to it now. So I went with this size cup, and we'll see how much we can get up in the coffee maker. My husband's really excited because he wants to do hot chocolate in here, right? Oh, chocolate! All right, so that filled up, and let's see how much it smells delicious. Ooh, fancy. And I'll probably put like maybe hot chocolate or something in that, maybe kick it up a notch or something. So it's off now. Let's take a look inside. There's still quite a bit of water in there. There's still quite a bit of water in there. I wonder where it goes. Because it's like all of a sudden it's now it's low again. Huh. I guess if you can run it again, you can get more out of it. But this is really cool. You get quite a few of the different types of coffee. You can get uh, original, you get coffee house, donut coffee, Timothy's, original. And I think there was a vanilla one in there too. There was like some kind of vanilla one. I don't know where it is though. Oh, here it is. There is a, a vanilla one too. There's vanilla, Kahlua, donut house, coffee, Van Hoot and Timothy's. 
Yeah, there's quite a few different types, so that's good. So overall, I think it brews a pretty good cup of coffee that I can see here. There's still a lot of water left in the reservoir. I don't know if it'll go again. Let's see if it'll fill up more. I don't know if you turn off the machine, maybe unplug it and then try again. Let's see if it does more, I don't know. But anyways, the manual shows you everything on how to use it and everything. So, well, they have the French manual and the English manual inside. So if you're French, you can read it. Living Basic, Single Serve Coffee Maker. And then it shows you everything that's inside. It's got the water gauge, drip tray cover, trip, drip tray, uh, piercing needle lid, single serve pack, water tank, funnel handle, funnel, main body, brew lid, button and brew basket. And it shows you important safeguards, what to look out for, save these instructions, how to brew a single serve pack, so what you can do, you can to guesstimate how much you want to have in your cup of coffee or you want your cup of coffee, you can actually take your water, fill up the cup of you want to have a coffee in, you put the water inside the coffee cup, you put it in the reservoir, and that's what will guesstimate the amount of coffee you want to have. So that's what I recommend. So it's brewing some more because there was more water in there. So, and it seems to be working pretty good. It's a little watery. I don't think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be a very strong coffee. So I can probably shut it off now. Yeah, it's pretty watery. Like it's, I'm not gonna get anything from it. I don't think I'm gonna get any more from it. But it's like, you know what? I don't like my coffee too strong anyway, so that's fine. But they go through the whole, whole uh, manual here, care and cleaning troubleshooting and on and so forth so I, I don't know I think I like it it's pretty cute pretty convenient great for a small space like if you don't have a lot of room in your house and you want to have something instead of a large coffee maker like this one from Black & Decker you can probably get this one the reviews are mm, up and down some people like it some people don't on this particular product in general Anyways, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll probably put the link to where I bought it on Amazon.ca and you can see other people's reviews. Um, I highly recommend using a Brita water filter or using some filtered water when you're doing this because it can get some water scale in the machine. So you want it to be good and before you even use the machine, run it through with vinegar and that will clean out, you know, um, anything dust, dirt, maybe something from the manufacturing company, that kind of thing. Thanks for watching my video reviews just for you. Have a happy new year and thank you so much for liking, sharing and following my page. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.